Hi guys, back again with me Austin from my boy at heart today. I'm going to share to you my experience on Oritois as it rained the last line of defense reborn trooper, which is part of the manga military so a bit of background story if you remember my video on this guy this is uh, part of Omanga. Omanga is one of the faction in as it rain world the other one being uh, the Argoods which is uh, which is where Bob came from but uh, there's another faction of course but the, for the figures that has, have been released only two factions uh, as of now and by the way this this guy um, to bolster their military ranks a manga with their fast technology for the soldier who are severely wounded seriously injured they uh, put basically they get all the essential organs and then they move it into a mechanical body so that's why it's called a reborn trooper so these are basically soldiers who are badly injured and basically cannot function anymore but to make them function again they put put them into a uh, mechanical body which is stronger physically but they have to bear with the strain with the stress uh, with the change of their body but anyway cool background so let's take a look at the packaging shall we this is the current style of Acid Rain's packaging. The yep, the artwork at the front. It's drawn or illustrated by Mr. Kidlaw himself, the designer. And at the back there's Flame Trooper there. Oh well. So a bit of logo there, Omanga military, Reborn Trooper, blah 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 blah. Um yeah, nothing much. And I've been using this kind of a, uh, this container plastic container which is cool cool for con uh, collectors and cool for outdoors photography as well um, I think they've been using it since for SETI or Marine Trooper I couldn't remember anyway it's very cool packaging All right. anyway let's take a closer look at the figure Okay, let's start with the helmet and the hat first. I believe this whole figure is a new mold, entirely new mold, so it's very exciting to me. Um, the style of the gas mask is somewhat similar to what we have on the Abaddon Trooper, but a bit different, but you can see the similarities. And then I cannot see his neck, by the way, which is one of the feature on this action figure we'll see but the helmet is still removable although there's no pack but it works uh, it's always been like that which is cool kind of rubbery but still solid and you can just put it back on with this so it's working the shoulder pad kind of rubbery so it won't hinder articulation so you can move up a little bit like that no hinges it just attaches inside there to the peg which attaches to the arm so if you detach the arm the shoulder pad will will be off from the from the body basically okay there's a hole which you can put the peg hole into and I like the mold there a bit of detail there um, it's a bit faded but you can see there's the logo of this trooper and at the back there's this part with the hole which I presume can be used to hold the rival or the gun we'll see later on oh by the way since this is a mechanical body I kind of understand the concept uh, normally with the human body in the previous figures like Bob here we can take away all the fast here and we can see the main body inside but I think since the Abaddon Trooper um, they don't put it there the Abaddon Trooper still have the belt 
but for this one uh, no it has nothing and let me yep it's basically the whole body there and we can see the ball pack all right we'll focus on that later on on the articulation department but I still love the weathered look on this a bit of detailing on the arms probably like some sort of barcode on this side as well very faint but it's there the hand is rubbery still so it can hold the guns with both hands and that's very cool on this part a bit of molded details again red ring on many parts here which some which is something that I love from this line I love weather looks here and there and on the bottom here I love the way that it is painted in some sort of bronze metallic on this part so it's really cool and a bit of texture down here to compare it with a Bodon Trooper the overall paint is darker on a button it's almost like darker black uh, the black or dark gray but on this figure reborn trooper is more like brownish color all across the body but still uh, very cool okay for the articulation the head is supposed to be the same joint uh, how do I know that that's take out the helmet first and you will see I hope you can see there is the neck joint inside actually yep so the neck here the neck here actually attaches to some sort of ball joints down there and the neck is equipped with a ball pack as well so it's a ball and a ball pack which actually is supposed to allow for a lot of movement but since the opening on the neck area is kind of narrow okay without the helmet we can move a lot of uh, we can still do a lot of motion here but then if you look at this gap uh, I think it's supposed to be the place where you put his mouthpiece there so basically that's the only opening because if you put on the helmet the articulation will be very very limited on the head so well is it a downgrade maybe as as a figure perspective but from the character perspective I guess it's not that bad because it's supposed to be a super heavy duty infantry anyway you can still move it to the side with the helmet like that so I think that's sufficient for this figure for the character at least so yeah maybe some some of the people may complain about that but I don't remember that really and again back here it's a ball pack so movement to the front like that to the back a lot side to side 360 rotation um, the arm is on ball hinge joint so you can move uh, the arm upwards this much by adjusting the hinge you can move to the back this much and of course full rotation notice that the shoulder pad moves alongside the arms is because of the concept here the elbow can bend this much it's a single jointed elbow by the way and you can uh, you don't have rotation we oh the rotation is up here now okay all right so it's part of the on this shoulder the palm can rotate 360 and there's a hinge to move up and down so the tie is kind of a ball joint but because of the sculpted parts here and there the only the opening uh, the split is this much but you can still do quite a lot more uh, quite a lot of front kick 
and back is hindered because of the mold here you have let's see okay uh, you have rotation up here yeah full rotation by the way uh, double jointed knee this much considering him as a bulky character I guess it's not that bad mm, still ratcheting though I can feel the ratchet there rotation down here uh, upward downward okay downward first and then ankle pivot yes it still have rock ankle okay full rotation yeah so for the accessories we have this one-handed pistol with the hole there um, still weathered as well the trigger is there I think it's meant to be handled by one hand let's see if we can put put it in the hand easily uh, normally this is not an issue at all yes and it holds quite securely for for this figure and by the way like I mentioned there's a bit of a pack here if you see this part which normally I presume can be put on the hole at the back let me try to do it yep and it's it is secure fantastic so that's pretty much with the with this figure reborn trooper let's measure him up the figure stands almost four and a half so probably 4.4 in something around that so it's slightly above 11 centimeters is it yes actually not very short so let's stand him beside several other figures on this line this is compared to a baton trooper and this is compared to bob let's see what i can find beside me this is the show exclusive amm which is a repaint or retooling of Poseri. and then compared to other figure lines um, this is star lord movie version from marvel legends used to be Marvel Universe this is Han Solo from Black Series 3, 3 quarter inch and this is DC Multiverse uh, before they moved to 6 inch line Batman and this is G.I. Joe so it still works it's quite tall but not the tallest uh, in fact Star Lord can match him so probably let me do one more oh yeah he's still taller than Chewbacca sorry about that it's not visible about the same height with Chewbacca in Star Wars Black Series okay so overall I still love this figure uh, it's I think it's necessary as if you want to complete your Omanga military units your collection of course there are a lot of changes uh, in in the mechanism of articulation or probably in the amount of accessories that we normally get in an acid rain figure especially the you know the removable accessories the fast and all those other stuff that we've been given but you know, ever since this guy was um, displayed or teased on kid lost instagram i've been you know uh what well, uh, waiting and waiting to to get it and finally it is here and I'm, I'm i'm good with it i'm okay i love it uh and you know, i'm still waiting for the other releases hopefully they will release more of among military more of the vehicles i know they are focusing a lot on the b2 hive or b2 five i forgot the smaller scale but this one is still one of my favorite line. So thanks guys for watching. I'm Austin from Aboid Hut. Subscribe the channel, like the video. Goodbye.